stunning little buildings. I think my little favourite ones are the white with little red paintings. But wow, what a place! So the Rhine is of course used for tourists but it's also used for uh, transporting goods uh, and has been for a very long time. Oh, okay, so that section was 100, now back down to 70, alrighty. So the Rhine, which is the big river on our left, um, that's been used for transporting goods for a very long time indeed and uh, it also uh, takes tourists as well. So all day there are barges that go up and down the Rhine and as you see to our left, when I get these trees out of the way, as you see to our left, uh, it also takes tourists as well. So we're t coming up to the town of uh, Salzig. And we actually need to turn off down here. So say goodbye to the river, see you later. Now we're heading towards uh, Hochschalt. It's a really sweet little road just running along the entire length of the Rhine uh, and in this distance you can see the town, that's the town of Hochschalt. And uh, here's some of the wine growing happening on our right. Doesn't look like it's, no, it hasn't started yet but... Now when I was at school we had a German uh, wine tasting, although because we were all kids they couldn't give us wine, believe it or not. Uh, which is a shame. Um, so they gave us apple juice instead, but I've got to say, if the apple juice is anything to go by, um, it was delicious. I'm not going very far, I'm just going over there just to uh, have a quick drinken. Ah yeah, sit drink. Okay, I'm really regretting choosing this hill to turn around on because it seems to go on forever. Right, just give me something flat, please. Let me turn around, I want to get back on the road. Back on the road again. Do, 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 do. Um, so how much was petrol? Well, that was pretty good. That was um, 25 euros and 25 euro pennies, or euro cents. Yeah, this'll do. Oh, wow. I mean, this is not what I was expecting at all. Wow, right, let's uh, stop here for a bit. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of drone flight there. You know, you see this sign here, this black sign um, with the lights up at bottoms. That's to do with when the boat comes around a river, whichever side is lit up, that's to show where the boat is on the corner. It's a very clever system um, because there used to be a lot of crashes back in the oldie days. And then they got the chance to do that, which is pretty impressive actually. So uh, that's a nice little fun fact for you. Uh, still very cold at night. I'd be camping down there because that's a camping uh, place or camping plats. Yeah, it's a camping plats. Uh, that's where I would be tonight. But uh, it's too cold for that, unfortunately. And that's not me just saying, oh, it's too cold. It is generally. I don't even know if they'd let me pitch a tent, but it would just be muddy at the moment and a bit bleak. And then there's another sign on the left, again that's to do with where the position of the boat is at each part of the corner, uh, just helps out the people. Another really cool castle there on our left. And uh, you can see that white castle in the middle of the road, well in ancient times that would have been used to essentially charge people a toll for that bit of the river and there was a while where people were so sick of it because it was uh, it went on for hundreds of years but there was something like uh, 20 of those sort of river tolls all the way up and down and what it essentially was was posh 
people had decided amongst themselves that they owned that bit of uh, river and uh, they could take over if they wanted. Uh, they were very rich sort of barons and lords and things like that. Uh, they'd taken it upon themselves to essentially charge a toll for their bit, what they perceived to be their bit of the river. So actually when you look at a lot of those old buildings, they are toll houses. And if you look at the side, there's all these squares in the wall. Well, if to stop the ships just sailing past and saying like, you know, um, there was actually chains that would raise up out the water, which meant that in theory, no ship could pass without paying the toll. And that went on for quite a long time, and then it got to a point where everyone was so fed up of it, they just said, look, I'll vote for you if you get rid of these stupid tolls, because uh, it's really taking up a lot of my time. And that's how some people got elected, because it was purely down to the fact that they promised they'd get rid of all tolls. Look at this. Here's a little tour of the little town for you. Oh, wow. Which I think perfect place for a thumbnail, just here. I just get the thumbnail. Wow. Fifteen seventy one here and fifteen seventy nine there. That is incredible. Fantastic. Let's get on the road again. An absolutely mesmerising place. You see up there? So many, and then it just has the vines as well, just coming down the hill. What an amazing place! We continue. Lancashire. This is the stuff of absolute dreams. Look at this. Uh, you see that bakery, you see the pretzel hanging off the sign. In the olden days, because a lot of people couldn't read, basically whatever the shop sold, what their main thing was, they just had a model of it made and they put it up on there. So that's obviously um, bakery. This is a, a pub, and it sort of just goes on like that, really. If you have something you sell, uh, rather than try and name your shop or get people to read it, um, you would just get a model and you'd have it put on your sign like that. How just straightforward, really. Right, hopefully this is a parking place. Yes, perfect. Right, I'll just, uh, I'm just going to water a tree. Catch you in a sec. God, that's a big bump. Ah, for the... Oh. Oh, oh, ah, uh, it's really gone. <laughs> oh, no. Where are you going? <laughs> uh, nine. Uh, English? English, yeah. Uh, it's really gone. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> I go and I yeah. saw you. My God. I would say I was you absolutely right. pissing myself, but that's exactly what I was doing there. Typically. German police. <laughs> oh, that was really funny. He said, no, don't worry. He explained there was traffic control up the road and he just wanted to check. I had all the right insurance. He wasn't expecting me to be doing a wee at the side of the road, but I had all the right paperwork. So he was fairly chilled. I pulled in here at this uh, little roadside and he said, um, you s we thought you saw the traffic control and then pulled in just to check <laughs> all your paperwork. And it was one of those big, long five-minute ones that you just can't stop either, so a bit unfortunate. Please don't laugh at me. <laughs> They're all trying to keep a straight face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so funny. Oh. <laughs> oh, he didn't care about me doing all he at all. He just. <laughs> but 
that was really bad timing. But all the uh, German police with their guns trying to keep a straight face and I'm there doing a piss non-stop in the bush. That was very funny. All right, let's warn these people. So now that seems to be a foreign thing. You do actually make the effort to tell people there's something coming up ahead. But, uh, <laughs> uh, I've never had so much of a life. I've never had so much fun. That was hilarious. He's trying to keep straight. The pl even the policeman was laughing, but I didn't think he wanted a camera shoved in his face. But, uh, <laughs> oh, so funny. That was, that was hilarious. What did he actually want to see apart from me doing a wee in the bush? Going, uh, it should have gone, it should have gone, which I think means sorry, hopefully. I mean sorry anyway. Uh, he just wanted to see my license, so I showed him my insurance document and my license. And uh, that seemed to do the job, really. No passports or anything, and I was making a right faff. I dropped the paper on the floor and I just watched me do a wee in a bush for a few minutes so I think he realised I was just a stupid tourist oh it has got a cafe well it's about half three oh, I think I'm going to go for it let's see what this cafe is like there's the cafe overlooking a bit of nature gotta say that looks just perfect so unless it's stupidly priced I think we're in for a winner here. Welcome back. Uh, just stopped for a bit of cake. It was, well, it was absolutely lovely. And uh, it was nice to go to Lou without having a German policeman watch you. So the plan now is to get back on the road, heading in the direction of uh, Gabschim. Probably butchered the name of that. And Monheim. Some vines growing on the side there as well. Now, I was reading in France they, uh, because they had quite a warm season for a short time, all the uh, seeds started to grow. Uh, but when the first frost comes, it kills them all, which means they lose uh, basically all of their crop. Because the plant's done its thing, it started to make the little flowers that make the grapes. But they were explaining it's happened way too early, just because of those um, three or four days of heat. So some of them are lighting torches which uh, looks absolutely incredible and I was hoping I'd see some of that around here but maybe it's a bit warm around here just show you on our left there's more uh, vines growing here and that's all of that German wine of course none of it started yet so there won't be much to taste but I'm sure there's loads of bottles hanging around Right, this seems like the absolute perfect place to fly the drone around. So if we can do about 50 kilometers, I think that'd be quite good. And then I'll have a look at her hotel. That, uh, there was a biker in that lay-by. That was the first time I've seen a biker in hours. 
you would have thought on a Sunday, which is what it is today, the sun's out, you've got a motorbike in the garage, it's probably a BMW. You would have thought you'd be tempted to come out here and enjoy all this, but... Maybe not, maybe there are better roads, maybe this is the boring route. So if you haven't seen it before, the way I normally find my hotels is I just open up the uh, phone, I have a look on the old Google Maps, and I just type hotels, and it shows me nearby, and then I pick a few things, I don't ask for much to be honest, I'm pretty happy with most things, I just have a quick look, does it have parking, yep, does it have breakfast included, that's always good, and then I tend to put a price limit, I guess I'm on my own, I'm not very fussy, I don't tend to, I try not to spend more than 50 euros a night, perfect, just what I was looking for, Right, let's uh, have a quick look, see if there's a hotel. Go on here, let it find you, type hotel. Tonight, tomorrow, one guest. Well, I've just found my hotel. It took a little bit longer than uh, expected. But it's uh, 42 euros for the night, including breakfast, which seemed pretty good. So it's in a Frankenfall. So I'm going to go get this a go, see what it's like. I haven't paid yet, but um, £42, including breakfast and parking. It's either going to be an absolute winner or not. Let's go find out. So I don't really search for bike-specific hotels, to be honest. There was one on the sat-nav, so I checked it out on Google Maps, but it's had no availability for tonight, which I think means still shut. It's not the autobahn, thankfully. At least I think not. that corner quick. Oh uh, yeah, that looks like the one. Right, around here. Ooh. Oh, yeah. down here. Brilliant. Right, I'm going to go and see if they do indeed have room at the inn, and uh, I'll catch you soon. Okay, so little touch card on the door. It's a bathroom. It's quite nice, isn't it? Very smart, very sleek. It's got a bath and a shower somewhere. There it is, use that later. There's me, hello. Cupboard for the bike stuff, a uh, little pod. Put your bike stuff there as well. Into the room, weirdly, no ceiling light. But anyway, there's the bed. There's uh, some of my stuff. And uh, not a rubbish view, don't look out the window. And then I've just got my laptop, which is just transferring some files over. So there we go, and a TV as well. So just to give you an idea of what you could expect for £50 in Germany, this is pretty good going, nice and clean, nice and fresh. Little single bed, that's fine. I have a single bed at home, so don't really care. Uh, as long as it's not the floor, that's the most important thing. Uh, I just thought uh, I'd just quickly show you around the room as well. Um, I'll show you what you get for £50 for the night, including breakfast as well, which I thought was pretty good. So free parking, breakfast, and a very nice room actually for uh, £50 a night. I think that's pretty good. And uh, we're in the centre of uh, the town as well. So I thought that was pretty decent. Um, I do book on hotels.com, not sponsored by them at all. Um, but what it means is every time I stay, I get to pay in uh, pounds. Uh, so I pay through my card, which is connected to my account. 
and you can add loads of cards. Um, but most importantly, I'm collecting reward nights. So when in the UK, I wanna get away for a night or two, I don't actually feel too bad about a hotel because I've got uh, free nights. Just give you an idea of what you're getting in Germany. Uh, and I'll try and do this for every place I stay. Anyway, that's enough of my hotel tour. I'll see you tomorrow and we'll continue down the German wine road and then we'll continue on the German Rhine road. Well, uh, I just had an absolutely lovely meal, to be honest. Uh, I heard bad things on the Google reviews, but don't believe everything you see because that was a great experience. And uh, I said thanks very much. And they for me a bit of limoncello as well, because they're Italian, so uh, I'm all fired up. But anyway, fantastic. That was a great experience. And uh, that's it for the day. So thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you again soon. I'm gonna go and jump in the hotel and uh, I'll just quickly show you where I parked the bike. So most hotels, you can just ditch the bike somewhere. Uh, I tend, I've gone for the uh, bicycle cat parking place today. So that's the bike all done. So I take the uh, soft bag off, which only takes four clips to undo. And uh, I stick the lock on it as well. And the track is hidden in there. So that's the bike all prepared. So it's only time. See you tomorrow.